Stephen Gans said that fear is a powerful and primitive human emotion. It alerts us to the presence of danger and was critical in keeping our ancestors alive. Fear can actually be divided into two stages, biochemical and emotional, and the biochemical response is universal while the emotional response is highly individualised. Some people are adrenaline junkies, so they enjoy extreme sports and other fear-inducing thrill situations. Something that uh, makes you panicky and keeps you out? Fear is an emotion. It makes your heart beat fast, it can make you shake and <gasps> cringe, breathe differently, breathe fast, not breathe at all. Yeah. Uh, so it's an emotional response, isn't it? It's, something that it's about panic and a sense of a uh, lack of control, essentially. To be scared of something. Uh, I think fear, it's like a human emotion uh, when you're scared of something, basically. Fear to me is a limitation. It's something that makes me not do what I want to do. It's just like a human emotion. Uh, it just one of the, one of those things that all of us have. I think fear is something that you're absolutely terrified of, something that makes you completely scared. Uh, something you don't like, scared of, don't want to go near. A phobia is a twisting of the normal fear response. The fear is directed towards an object or situation that does not present a real danger. The sufferer recognises that the fear and the feeling of fear is unreasonable, but however, they can't help this reaction. I guess, um, I don't know if it classes a phobia as such, but whereas a lot of people are afraid of lack of structure, I sometimes fear structure. If there's like a lot of structure put on me, I sometimes feel a, a, a bit sort of all, all consuming, essentially. Peeling oranges. Why are you scared of peeling oranges? Because I don't like the idea of like, if I put my finger in to separate it, I burst it and the juice goes all over my hand. Uh, my weirdest fear, I would say, would have to be like sauce or, or caramel. Uh, ever since I was a kid, uh, I remember once, um, as a wee kid, my auntie took me to Olds the Bakers and she bought this like, it's like a gingerbread man that had like a wee pot belly and I stuck a knife in it and all this caramel oozed out and I was like sick for days. And for years after I used to think about it and it would like make me throw up. So anything kind of runny uh, makes me kind of sick. Slugs. So uh, why is that? Because they're disgusting, slimy, they're just, oh, I don't even like seeing the word. My weirdest fear is touching money. As weird as it sounds, I don't like touching coins at all. It makes me shiver inside. <laughs> I don't like it. The reason being is because I think it's just like that instinct. Because when I first uh, learned about bees, and like when I first like first saw one, I was I was I just clicked, uh, and like I, I I was instantly scared of them. I've got to be them scared, scared of scissors. As you can tell for the long hair, uh, scared of scissors. I don't want to. Yeah, that's why I don't get it cut because I don't know. It seems like if you if you get someone cutting so close to your hair, I mean, your hair's close to your neck. I'm scared of heights, narrow paths with steep fall-offs, especially if there's water at the bottom of it. I think it all stems back to years ago when I was in a school trip to France and we were getting taken up the big white church. Uh, we were taken up to the top, but they didn't say we were going to the top. And I was first, and I was running up the stairs, ran through the door at the top, and <gasps> there was the whole of Paris, and I get such a scare. It's quite ironic that I should be scared of heights because I was an ardent hill walker. And because of that, in, in the nature of things, you do have to go in steep paths with steep follow. Thank you.